Hello, my friends. It is me, Krista, here with Jolly Yoga, and I am thinking a lot about the earth this week. And in thinking about the earth this week, it's been Earth Day celebration, the 50th anniversary of Earth Day was just two days ago. And in thinking about that, I've been thinking about all of the elements of the earth and how in our, in our Understanding our philosophy of yoga, we understand, and our sister science of Ayurveda, we understand that we ourselves as humans, little microcosms of the macrocosm of the whole, we embody those elements within us. And so in honor of all of these elements, part of the earth itself, I've been doing a sort of elemental practice to cultivate some of that awareness. So in this short flow, we'll do a little bit of all of these. Let's start in a seated position together. And in your seated position, start off with your body starting to connect down into the earth, down into the ground, and we'll create a kind of grounding cord in which the tailbone and the sits bones, the whole entire base of the pelvis, begins to connect down into the earth itself. You could take your fingers and press your hands, maybe palms or just fingertips, down into the earth and feel a sense of connection with each exhale. Start to feel from the bones at the base of your pelvis as if there is a cord being drawn down into the earth. Perhaps with each exhale, it starts to get longer and longer, that cord of awareness drawing closer and closer down into the core of the earth itself. So that as you inhale now, that cord still deeply connected downward, feel as if the fire of the earth starts to draw up fire and air of the earth start to draw upward through the cord into the center of you, into the heart of you. And then exhale back down through that cord all the way into the center of the earth itself. And three more breaths like this. As you draw upward with your inhale, feel your awareness, draw nutrients, nourishment upward from the earth all the way up through the cord into the heart and center of you. And with each exhale, send that awareness back down through the cord, er rooting you, connecting you more deeply into the earth itself. Twice more, breathe in and out. And then start to wake up the spine a little bit. Just start to move now with your hands on your knees, start to churn a bit in one direction. Starting to wake up the spine in preparation for some more movement oriented breath work here. And then go in the other direction, starting to create some awareness around your spine. We're gonna to start to wake up into the fire of us now, and we're gonna wake up into the fire in the air, and we're gonna use our breath to really stoke that fire. So the inhale is gonna open the arms out wide, and we're gonna do a little tapping work where we twist and tap into the thymus, which is a really good way. So as we tap into the thymus and twist, we're starting to stimulate our, our immunity our ability to connect to our immunity and to the fire. So because we're going to also hop and pull the low belly in on that twist. So we inhale and we exhale, hop and twist. Inhale, arms wide, exhale, hop, hop, hop. You can speed it up, hop. up wide, breathe into your arms, hold the breath in, hold your arms out wide, 
and exhale, let it go. Crescent in one direction, crescent in the other direction, circular crescent in one direction, activating a little of the water element, a little of that freedom of the flow in one and then the other direction and then center yourself back again, hands on your knees. We're gonna do a little work into what's called Simhasana, which is the lion's breath. And this is the breath where you stick out your tongue, open your eyes really wide and say, ah. so it's a big release, getting rid of anxiety, getting rid of fear, clearing, clearing everything out emotionally, clearing everything out physically, all the debris. Just think about ah, hanging all away. So hands on the knees, round your spine, pull your belly back, and then stick out your tongue, stick up your chest, open your eyes wide, and we're gonna do that another seven times. Last one. Open your arms up wide, breathe in. And then hands to the knees, palms down, close your eyes. Notice with awareness, attention to how you feel. Good, and then rock onto your hands and your knees into a tabletop position. So in your tabletop position, we're gonna start off just by circling, again, some freedom in the flow of your pelvis. Maybe it's like you start to create this infinity symbol with your whole body, with your pelvis at the base of the infinity and your torso at the center, at the top, and then tracing that infinity symbol in one direction and in the other direction and round and round into the infinity symbol of your own body. And then stick the hands more deeply into the earth, curl your toes under, and exhale, pull the belly up, knit your ribs into your body and say, ha! And stick your chest up, stick your tailbone up, lift your heart up, inhale, exhale, ha! Big fire element here. Five more of those. Inhale, lift to the chest, exhale, ha. Stoke the fire with your breath, ha. 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 Last two, ha. Ha. And now keep that engagement and draw yourself up and back into downward facing dog. You can pedal, pedal, pedal your heels out here. For a breath in and a breath out, inhale then forward into high plank. Set your knees down if you like or keep them lifted. Deep breath in, chest up, palms strong. We're gonna exhale into the ha and pull the low belly up. Inhale forward with your eyes and heart, exhale ha. One more time, inhale forward with your eyes and heart, exhale ha and then lower to the floor. Set your forehead down, rest your arms for a breath alongside your body. And then moving into the earth, push the bones of your legs downward, shins and femur bones and pelvis bones all push down into the earth, the bones of us really connected to the earth element. Then place your hands under your shoulders and roll into a watery, watery cobra. As you inhale, lift your heart forward and exhale, roll back down. Inhale, lift and open. Exhale, roll back down. One more time, inhale, lift and open your heart, draw your shoulder blades back, exhale, roll down. Find your way up into a downward facing dog posture, one more time, breath in and breath out. Really strong, lift your pelvis up, a little bend in the knees, drop your knees toward the mat and exhale, ha! Lift your pelvis up, inhale, knees down. Ha. <laughs> you can blow out from your mouth. 
If that ha is starting to bother your throat, and then one more, come into stillness, quiet your mind, see if you can feel the grounding cord from your pelvis down, rooting you into the earth. We're going to bring the right foot forward. You can set your knees down and do that from tabletop. Or you could do that from downward facing dog. Once your right foot is forward, keep the left knee lifted in the lunge. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, right leg straightens. We rock back. Now inhale, drop forward. Set your left heel down. Then push into your feet. Bring your hands off the mat. Lift your torso up just a little way. And then use your hands almost as if you're taking your hands and pushing your feet closer down into the ground using your hands. Then as you inhale, straighten your right leg and lift your arms over your head. With your exhale, bend your right knee into warrior one and pull your arms down into goddess position. Keep the goddess position and lift your upper chest your chest upward, your bottom tips of your shoulder blades pull up. Take an inhale. With your exhale, pull your forearms and palms together and round your spine, pull in. Inhale, peel open. Exhale, curl in. One more time, inhale, peel open. Exhale, curl in. Now, with the curled in position, we're gonna find our way into warrior three. So, lift your left heel up. And then one big hop or several hops. Keep a little bend in your right knee. Send your left inner thigh up to the ceiling. Inhale, goddess arms, and we float and open our chest. And then we're going to pull the left leg forward. You can set the left foot down onto the mat and curl in to a tight ball. Or if it's right for you, maybe you pull that left thigh up to your belly and curl in in the balancing pose. Good. Inhale. Lift your heart back up, warrior three, arms out into goddess. And then left foot steps back. Find your feet. Inhale, high lunge. With your exhalation, we're going to crescent this. Grab your left wrist, crescent to the right. Inhale, hands to heart center, palms down, turn and face the long edge of the mat. Rise up halfway, inhale, stretch your left arm to the sky. With your exhale, hands come back down, lift your heart and open, exhale, fold. Good, then rise back up halfway, turn your left toes to the back of the mat into Virabhadrasana B, Warrior B. And we're gonna go back and forth with this little heart tapping. So inhale, arms out wide, Exhale, turn to the side and tap into the thymus. Inhale, right leg turns forward, warrior two. Exhale, ha, into the heart. Inhale, open wide, warrior two. Ha, inhale, warrior two, right side. Ha, inhale, left side. Exhale, ha, inhale, right side. Exhale, ha, arms up and overhead. Exhale, fold, 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 fold. Crown of the head to the floor. Rise halfway, walk yourself all the way to the back side of your mat. Bend your left knee, warrior, I'm sorry, crescent into our lunge, and then set your right heel down onto the floor. Pull your fingers up as if you are being pushed up off of the ground by the air. And then exhale, use your hands like you're pushing, pushing, pushing your feet down into the earth more deeply. Then inhale, straighten your left leg, lift your arms up and overhead. As you exhale, bend your left knee, Virabhadrasana, warrior one, arms in goddess. Open your heart up, deep breath in, then exhale, Close forearms and palms together and round. Inhale, open it up. Exhale, close it in. Inhale, peel open, goddess arms, chest lifted. Exhale, close in, stay closed in, lift your right heel. We're going warrior three pose, left knee stays in a little bit of a bend. Squeeze your forearms together, lift your right inner thigh up, then goddess arms, inhale. 
exhale, right toes to the floor or right thigh lifted and we hover and squeeze into a tight ball. Then we step back, right foot into high lunge, arms stretched to the sky, grab your right wrist and crescent to the left. Deep breath in, stretch your arms to the sky, big lift through your fingers, feet grounded as you face the side of the mat and exhale, fold. Left hand pushes into the floor, right arm stretches up to the sky. Inhale, then rise up halfway. Exhale, fold all the way down, crown of the head to the mat. Come all the way back up, sweep your arms over your head, and then right foot forward, Vira Bhadrasana B. Now this time, we're gonna circle the arms. Inhale, arms up, circle through the center. Exhale, push away into the ha as we push away. So we inhale, circle up to face the side, Exhale to the right into the ha. Circle up, inhale. Exhale, left side, ha. Ha, right side. Left side, ha. Right side, ha. Exhale, left side, ha, and stay there. Right hand down, left arm up, stretch. And then come through the center, palms together. Slow it down, press down into your feet. Turn your right toes straight forward, bend the right knee, arms extend, Vira Bhadrasana. Left arm down, right arm up, inhale. Exhale, hands to the mat. Step into downward facing dog, the Adho Mukha Svanasana. Come forward into high plank, knees lifted or knees down chest open, lower to your belly. Forehead to the mat, arms out in front of you, palms together. With your inhale, pull your arms into goddess position, lift your chest, keep your feet down. Exhale, hands to the mat, forehead down. Inhale, feet up, shins up. Exhale, feet down. Inhale, arms, chest, legs, lift. Exhale, everything down. Inhale, Sphinx Pose. Forearms on the mat, elbows under your shoulders, hands out in front of you. And then just slow little bend. Make ankle circles in one direction and the other. If you get little pops and cracks, then you can enjoy the little symphony that your body's making, and then go back and forth with both feet pushing together. Good. And then hands down, feet down, lift up tabletop, walk your hands back. Inhale, stretch your fingers to the sky. Bring your arms down, hands behind you into your sacrum. Lift your chest, open your heart up, Keep your elbows drawing toward each other. Bottom tips of your shoulder blades draw up. Low belly draws up. Upper shoulder blades lift up. Sternum lifts up. Maybe your eyes look up. Then toes uncurled or curled under. You can keep hands at your low back. Or maybe reach to your heels. Make sure that your thighs stay in this nice long upright position if you are dropping back. And then hands to your pelvis, if they left, come back up. Good, maybe with a block or just sitting on your heels, lower down, chin to your chest, start to feel your bones of your legs and your feet dropping toward the earth again. Breathe in and out. And then move into a seated position. Extend your legs forward. You can sit on a blanket if that's going to help to lift your pelvis up. If we're rounding in our back, then we want to maybe sit on a blanket or a block potentially. You could grab a strap to grab your feet if you need one. Or reach your arms slightly up and forward. Tailbone and sits bones pull back and then fold. 
Grab your feet, perhaps. Take a full breath in, lift your heart forward, and exhale, start to press your belly closer and closer towards your thighs. Each time you inhale, get a little bit of a lift in your spine. And each time you exhale, press your belly a little closer to your thighs. Three more breaths like that. Lengthen through the spine as you inhale. Press your belly towards your thighs as you exhale. Twice more, breathe in. Exhale, belly to the thighs. One more, inhale, lengthen. Belly to the thighs, exhale. Then come halfway up. Roll up through the torso. Set your hands down behind your butt. Feet on the mat nice and wide. Lift the bottoms of your feet off the floor so just your heels are down. And just rotate your knees side to side into a little release. And then slide your legs forward and lower slowly all the way down onto your back. Once you are all the way down on your mat, we connect again into the rooted earth element, the whole base of the body, the back side of the body, starting to connect again more deeply with the ground, with the earth itself. Stay in your reclined position if you can. If you have the time for it, stay there and feel the back side of your body dropping more deeply downward. Rooting through the grounding cord of your tailbone as you exhale down into the earth. Allow your bones to surrender into the earth. The ground of you cultivating a kind of stillness, a kind of still expansive space within you as you drop more deeply into this earth quality. It is said by physicists that as we draw closer into the earth, as we get closer to the planet earth and to the ground of the earth, that time slows a measurable amount. And as we come into Shavasana, perhaps that measurable amount also becomes perceptible. We can feel time expand a little bit with us. Feel yourself being drawn more deeply into the center heart of yourself, down through the back side of your body, into the center of the earth. And then in that expansive place, the spacious place, perhaps now the element of ether, so that we connect to the balance of being deeply grounded, tethered, and also spacious. Pause for another inhale. And then perhaps stay in this position if you have the time for as long as you have. If this is as much time as you have, then slowly prepare to arise from Shavasana into a seated position. Moving upward into your seated position, be sure then to pause and in the spaciousness, even more, even more awareness, even more connectedness in a pause for gratitude for all of the parts of yourself. My friends, I thank you for practicing. Namaste.